the height h in meters of an object at time t is given by the function 24t plus 24t 3 to the seconds minus 16t squared. What is the height of the object at the instant when it reaches its maximum upward velocity? So the first thing, notice that we're dealing with the position function and we need to find the uh, maximum upward velocity. Now maximum suggests that we should somehow derive the not only the velocity function but also the acceleration function right because we're going to use the acceleration function uh, which will give us the chance to find the maximum upward velocity okay so we're going to have to take the first derivative of this to get the, the velocity function and then one more time the second derivative after that to get the acceleration function okay and then we can basically set that acceleration function to zero and then we're going to find the t value okay and then we're going to plug that t value inside the height function to find the, to find the height corresponding to the maximum upper velocity so first we're going to take the velocity function and that's the derivative of the height function so we know 24 t to the one one comes down 24 t is gone using the power rule and then plus 24 times uh, 3 seconds, right? 3 seconds comes down, so 24 times 3 seconds. And then t reduces by, uh, t power reduces by 2 over 2, right? Which is 1. And 3, 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 is 1 half. All right, and then minus 32. And now how did I get 32? 2 comes down to multiply the 16 and t power re reduces by one so, so it's just t to the first power all right so this and uh, what is that going to be so if you simplify that is going to be 24 plus now 24 over 2 is 12 12 times 3 is 36 t to the one half minus 32 t okay so this is the velocity now we need to take the derivative one more because we need to find the maximum upward velocity. And, and um, we know that when we take the derivative, that gives us a chance to know where the uh, direction of the velocity changes, right? And that's where we'll, we're going to find the maximum upward velocity. So taking the derivative of this gives us the acceleration function. So the derivative of the velocity that we found so basically the second derivative of the height or the first derivative of the velocity, whichever way you want to think of it. This is gone. And then 36 multiplies the 1 half, so it becomes 18. And then this power 1 half re is reduced by 1, so you have to subtract 2 over 2 from 1 half, which is negative 1 half, right? t to the negative 1 half is the same thing as writing this to the 1 half. So essentially, we're talking about square root of t on the bottom like that, okay? And then finally, the last guy is just minus 32 because t to the first power, the 1 comes down, multiplies the 32. t power reduces by 1, t to the 0 is just 1. So we don't write the t. So this is the acceleration function that we found. Now we need to set that to 0, okay? So set acceleration to zero okay because this is the derivative function of the velocity that we found right the derivative and we want to see where the instantaneous derivative or instantaneous slope in this case of this uh, velocity function where it's going to be zero and that's going to be the maximum of the upward velocity okay so let's find that so we're going to set zero to this acceleration function that we found so 18 over the square root of t minus 32. Okay, we're going to add 32 on both sides. And then as a result of which we should get, uh, and also what? We're going to get 18 over square root of t is equal to 32. And of course you have to um, uh, switch these guys around. So notice that if you switch the square root of t with the 32, you're essentially solving for square root of t which would be equal to 18 divided by 32. And also notice that 18 divided by 32 is what? 
uh, if you reduce that fraction, you should get square root of t is equal to um, the GCF of 18 and 32, of course, is uh, 2, right? So 9 divided by uh, 16, all right? So 9 divided by 16. So now if you square both sides, of course, you should get t is equal to 81 divided by uh, 256, right? So you found the t value that you're now going to use to find the height, right? So at this instant, at 81 divided by 256 seconds, um, right, Be because that's the time, at this number of seconds, you will reach the maximum upward velocity, right? And let's find the height at that. So at the height at that it means that you're simply going to plug this t value, the time that you found, for the upward uh, maximum velocity into the height function. So as a result, what does that mean? So this is going to be, so I'm going to label this at height at maximum upward velocity. All right, so that's going to be plugging the 81 over 256 inside this. So 81 out of 256 inside the height function, then let's see what that gives us. And of course, you're going to use the calculator. 24 times this plus 24, this raised to the 3 over 2, minus 16. And of course, what we're going to fill in the blank here is the t value that we found, all right? t value that we found, and that's going to give you the result. So if you do this correctly in your calculator, what this should give you is 10.263427737 meters. All right, so this gives you the height uh, of this object at the instant when it reaches its maximum upward velocity. And notice that the only answer choice that's the closest to this is this one, answer choice B. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.